How about managing the sun and the wind and the rain? Plants do it and it's pretty complicated. Now there's a team of scientists working to make things a little easier. Jose Sanders shows us how in today's Live Green with ABC7 report. The newest addition to the Chicago Botanic Garden is home to nine research laboratories. All of them are dedicated to studying plant life and finding the best ways to help them grow. And there are ways that you can get in on the action. It has um, ground up leaf tissue in it. Who knew that plants had DNA? This is one of nine research labs at the new Daniel F. and Ada L. Rice Plant Conservation Science Center at the Chicago Botanic Garden. It's dedicated to unraveling the unique genetic makeup of plants. Just like humans have DNA and, and um, we can answer questions about how humans are related, um, we can also use DNA collected from plants and fungi to ask similar questions. In this lab, scientists can simulate weather conditions and environmental growth chambers. Right now, they are studying a native plant known as the prairie bush clover. It is on the endangered species list. There's a lot of wind in here, and that's to keep the environment the same. We're doing um, research to figure out the best ways, the most economical ways, the efficient ways to keep plants from going extinct. We're trying to figure out what threats they face. Much of what's learned inside these labs can be applied globally to help efforts like food production. Here, scientists are studying soil and the human impact on it. The idea is, well, what is in the soil that helps our plants to grow? So we can keep on having good water quality, so that we can keep on feeding everybody in the city, and people can have very good quality food. All of the labs encourage visitors to look in and learn about the tests that are being conducted. There are even interactive displays to give take-home tips. The hope is that everyone will play a role in protecting the ecosystem. The Plant Conservation Center is phase one of a planned 15-acre science campus at the Chicago Botanic Garden. For more information or to tell us how you live green, go to abc7chicago.com and click on Live Green with ABC7. I'm Jose Sanders, ABC7 News.